Jamalov here and welcome back to the beginner's guide to Dwarf Fortress. A tutorial series where I'm building an example fortress showing how to build a fortress and how to help your dwarf survive. In the previous parts I uh, set out uh, bedrooms and uh, did some uh, other uh, miscellaneous stuff and we also received six new dwarves into the fortress migrants and in this video I'll be taking a look at those uh, dwarves, the second migrant wave in Dwarf Therapist. Let's open up uh, open up it from the lazy new pack and I'm using the splinter mind attributes version of the dwarf therapist I have added that into the lazy new pack directory directory it shows up there in the interface and here we have them and as you remember no matter what uh, what version of dwarf therapist you use you can always group the dwarves into migration waves and then you can uh, see uh, what what dwarves did you get and uh, as before, I usually first disable all their uh, all their labors, and then start deciding what they will actually do. Uh, I will le usually leave those who are highly skilled, and I will then go through this later. Okay, I think we might start some fishing. Uh, not very skilled gem cutter, unfortunately. The weaver will definitely see some action. Uh, we got some uh, basic uh, siege operator guy as well. Um, okay, so I will first do that. I will commit the changes so those go into the game. And now let's take a look if any of them has any any military skills. Nope, basically zero zero skill in that uh, dappling. And then in this this version of dwarf therapists we can see the rankings based on their stats. Uh, as you get more and more migrants, you uh, want to start picking them off to a military. I won't be won't be doing that yet. I'm, uh, keeping an eye on their uh, attributes here. Okay, let's see. So we have a wood burner. I can uh, disable wood burning from uh, who was doing it from my previous migrants. I didn't have a weaver, so that's fine. I will make this fellow, just for example's sake, also a clothier. Uh, so I can create some cloth. And um, I think this guy can be... No, actually, he's the wood burner. Yeah, he won't be fishing. I need to make someone else the fisher or just, uh, just wait until I get... Uh, get a better one. Um, what other things I want to be taken care of? There's uh, quite many quite many tasks that this, uh, this one fellow was doing. I'll probably let him continue doing plant processing but get these uh, pressing and milling and other other stuff like that for the other dwarves. I guess this guy could be the miner. The problem is I don't have a third pick. So I might might actually want to go and create that pick. And um, let him continue as the miner. Just actually let's uh, check the rankings. He's actually not that very very good very good of a miner stats wise. Um, so I might want to consider him to do something else. Mm. Okay, do we have uh, a miller? This weaver guy has the stats for it. Uh, this guy, oh, he's, he's a strong one. Strong and Ender of okay, nice. I think this fellow will be in my uh, and has a great focus as well, so it might be a great, uh, great marks dwarf. Um, I will create this keep, keep fellow, my miller, at least for now. I haven't started milling yet, 
much, but uh, anyway. So he will beat Miller. This fellow could be. Yeah. He can take care of the animal training. That I will probably do soon as I'm getting more and more puppies. Uh, he can take care of dying in case I do that. And uh, also be the presser. I will start start pressing the rock nuts at some moment, so that'll that'll be handy then. Um, I want to sh want to have a butcher and tanner, so let's look at those. Well, it's the it's the same same guys pretty much. So can't can't really get good ones. Mm, I have a I have a butcher. He's not doing anything else. Okay, so he can he can stay this way. What about tanning? Possible miner could be that. Hmm. Yeah. Well, actually, I think uh, I think you can uh, can be the miner. You will train the stats as you as you continue in it. So that is fine. This dwarf doesn't have anything. No, oh, he's the weaver, okay. This fellow was the wood burner, that's fine. This fellow is the miner, animal trainer, and that one. Okay, this wax worker guy doesn't really have anything to do. He has the stats to be a great marks dwarf. And he also has some uh, some interest in wood and uh, wood and bone carving. So I will actually make him one. Even that I'm I'm not really doing those things much yet. Um, I will let my miner to be the gem cutter and setter, but I actually won't be cutting any gems before I get a skilled one, a more skilled one. I won't be training gem cutter from the ground up, at least not yet. If I'm very unlucky and won't get gem cutters even later on, then I will. Let's commit those changes. So for now, I'm, I'm not starting I'm not starting the military yet, but uh, from, from these fellows mm, they will probably go into a uh, go into the military. There are some, uh, for example, this guy, incredibly tough, very endurable. Uh, actually has, uh, yeah. Well, anyway, pretty pretty tough guy. That's very very strong, very strong guy. High endurance as well. High toughness. This uh, this fellow is. Probably, probably going to be in the, going to be in the military eventually. Uh, with those stats, incredibly quick to heal. Yeah, not, not sure about that. Again, uh, another strong one. Also, very high focus, which is important for Mark's dwarf. Very likely candidate to be uh, be uh, armed with a crossbow. Yeah, here's, a, here's another one again with uh, relatively high, relatively high focus, especially since the wax worker isn't exactly, actually that much needed. I, I probably won't do any, uh, any do any beekeeping and get uh, get wax that way. Right, those uh, those changes have been committed. They are uh, they are now in the game. It is now uh, 18th of sandstone, mid-autumn, so it is about a month until the trade caravan arrives. My uh, trade depot is pretty much done. The way into it is not yet open, but hopefully that'll be next time. And um, yeah, on the next one I will at least move my uh, move my stockpiles around a bit, and I will. Uh, 
look into that uh, clothes making, uh, weaving weaving clothes from the thread that uh, from the pigtails uh, from the pigtail thread that I've been doing in the farmer's workshop, processing plants. So weaving clothes and then making stuff from that cloth. If nothing else, at least bags. So uh, that'll be next time. Take care. Bye bye.